Hello, today we are making miniature succulents in the planters and we are starting with the planters. For that you are going to roll out cylinders of clay. Be careful to cut them straight. And using your finger round up the edges on one side. I'm making five different planters for this video, so here's just another angle of how I roll out the cylinder and cut out the edges and then round up the edges on just one side. Be sure to play around with colors and sizes using the same technique. For the pink one, I made a more traditional shape for the planter and rolled out a cone. Cut the edges as straight as I could. And then smooth down the edges with my finger. Once you have all the planters you need and want, bake them. After baking and cooling off, start to sand every piece. Sanding helps to smooth every surface, but also removes any kind of dust. And because I was feeling like doing something cute, I painted tiny faces on each planters using some simple black acrylic paint. For the face designs, I got some inspiration on Pinterest. That being said, you can paint whatever you want on them. I chose cute faces, but you can make something creepy or something different, something geometric. Anything will work. Once the paint is dry, we are going to add the soil. For that, first add some liquid clay and apply it with a brush, and then add some brown clay and start to texture it with a toothpick or a needle tool. Here a close-up of how I textured the soil. If you already made cake in your life, then it's pretty much the same. So think cake, but make soil. Make a earthen cake, if you will. Once all your planters have been filled with soil, we are going to add the hair. Um, no, the plants. Well, same difference, really. As usual, I found some reference pictures of succulents and plants I liked and just proceeded to replicate them. So I don't really know how they're called, but I suppose someone knows, so you can comment if you really want to. I'm simply making the leaves one by one and putting them together on the soil of the planter. Room. 
Most succulents have rather thick leaves, so I started to roll out some tiny balls. Pinched them to create a pointy end. And then flatten to create the leaf. Assemble the leaves starting from the outside. Of course you could also start from the inside I suppose, but I just did it like this. The closer you get to the middle, the tinier the leaves need to be. For the next succulent, I used some lavender color and I made a twist on the leaf shape. I pretty much started like the last one, but instead of just pushing the clay down, I cut the sides, so I would have a more geometric leaf. Again, I started to assemble the leaves from the outer edge. For each inner circle, I reduced the size of the leaves. And reduced even further. Succulents come actually in many shades, so I chose this lavender, which is pretty common, but they're also blue and red and yellow, so if you really like a specific color, just go for it. For the next one, I rolled out tiny lumps. and simply assembled them together. Just fill all gaps and make sure it's not too geometric. These grow in a very ungeometric way. The last one is very similar to the previous one, only your lumps are going to be a lot thinner and more look like fingers. You are going to bunch them all together and make sure you have different sizes. Then simply place the bunch on the soil. Finish this one off by filling the gaps. Once you are done and happy with all your planters, bake. After baking and cooling off, you want to enliven your tiny plants by adding some acrylic color.
The best is to look at reference pictures to get a good feel of the colors and then use colors that would highlight the plants. In my examples here I used white, yellow and red. Of course it will all depend on, on the colors you chose. If you chose to make blue succulents for instance you might want to pick other acrylic paintings. Don't forget to varnish and you are done! I very much hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe! See you next week! Bye!